I'm Coach Jamie. A lot of your daughters have talked to me and expressed a struggle to get the ball over the net, so I just want to demonstrate some exercises that they can do to better improve their underhand, their overhand serve, and of course their hits. So first thing I want to show you is an elastic band. Um, really, just make sure you find one that your daughter is comfortable with, and then you want to attach it to something like a fence post. I'm using my riding mower, really any fixed object. Um, I just loop it through the handle, if you can see, um, and that way when I pull against it, the object does move. So, the first thing I want to show is an underhand serve. So, there's two ways to do an underhand serve. You can do the underhand serve, uh, I'm using a piece of tape here to line my feet up, but uh, I've got my feet diagonally, and if this is the line that I'm serving over, it's, you can kind of see about what that angle looks like, and then my feet are, of course, uneven. Um, my left hand, if I'm a right-handed server, is going to be down here low, and then I'm going to come across and swing this way. If your daughter is not comfortable with that and has learned to do it straight on, of course she can come here, line her feet up on either, either side of the line to help her make sure that she's got a good spacing, and then of course come through and hit once again with this hand low and steady. Um, so let me demonstrate what those exercises are going to look like. So you want to walk out until you have a good place of tension. I'm going to demonstrate the side arm one first. So I found that I have some tension here. Once again, I'm going to hold my hand down and steady, and then I'm going to bring my arm across. I'm going to try to make it a fast movement because that's closest to a game simulation. Um, I always tell your daughter slow is smooth and smooth is quick, so work on getting it right slowly and then try to speed that up a little. Uh, this exercise in this movement is great because it uses four major muscle groups. You're going to use your abs, you're going to use your pectoral, you're going to use your shoulder muscles, and you're also engaging your bicep. So um, this is, I think, the preferred movement if your daughter really is struggling to get the ball over the net. The other way to serve, uh, like I said, I showed before, is to get straight. So I'm going to find that place of tension, and then here. And so, same thing. I'm keeping that hand down and first working on getting the movement slowly and then I'm going to try to go fast. Really uh, two or three sets of ten is sufficient for that. I want to demonstrate the movement from the side. So if I'm here, uh, we'll go with the first one first. My hands are um, slightly at an angle here and I'm coming sidearm. That movement looks like this. You can see my left hand isn't moving, my right arm is doing all the movement. Uh, once again, if your feet are straight or you're straight on towards the, uh, the boundary line, similar situation. Okay, so overhand serving. There's two good exercises for overhand serving. Um, the first exercise is about building up your tricep, and so you're going to once again, find that place of tension, um, get your feet uh, shoulder width apart, and then um, slightly staggered, and then you're gonna hold underneath in your elbow, just kind of hold your arm fixed, and of course, go slowly the first time, and then you wanna speed it up to simulate gay movement. What's important here is that your hand isn't going all over the place, that when you do speed it up, you're going straight through. So from the side, that movement is going to look, I'm going to line up my feet, position my body, and line up here, and I'm going straight. The second movement looks a little bit like this. Once again, I'm going to find my feet in position. I'm going to find a place of tension. I'm going to back up a little for this. And then, um, it's not about having my arms straight. Uh, I want to have my arm overhead so if I'm making contact with that serve. And then I want to use my abdominal muscles. So I'm basically doing a crunch. So I want to engage my abs while keeping all the other parts of my body fixed. So it's really just a how can I work on pulling it all together and making my body move as one singular movement. Um, from the side, I'll try to do that without tension. It's a little difficult. It's going to look a little bit more like this. The last exercise you can do for hitting uh, is to do 
the previous two exercises as well as this, um, as both hands. Um, the goal is to work on that flexibility back and forth as well as to try to see how fast you can get your hands to go. Um, when you go for that spike, sorry, hit, and you come across your, the last and final part is to flick your wrist um, in order to get a downward movement on the ball. The last thing I want to show you is that these lines aren't here for, or the space on those lines aren't here for no reason. Um, I've measured out, and this is something you can help your daughters with, use chalk, use tape, just use some tape if you can have any chalk. Um, this is the perfect spacing for me to get low for a pass setup. So if your daughter's practicing this at home, she can, she can just, you know, practice and practice and then go and check her feet again. Hey, are my feet the right space apart? Are my feet staggered slightly? Are they slightly turned in? Are my knees past my toes? Um, and is my shoulders past my knees? So we'll be practicing and having that as a reference point to say, you know what, somebody else helped me figure out what this looks like from the side. Of course, this looks like a little bit more like this with a straight back and a good platform. All right, thanks guys. I hope you'll have a great day.